morning. Welcome back to the Chiron. So last night I was um, taking some rubbish over to the fire, some weeds and that stuff that I wouldn't put on a compost. And um, I got to about here and uh, I saw some branches on the floor that'd be no good for firewood so um, I just picked them up and as I picked them up there was a rustle on the ground now we've got loads of little we've got loads of little um, lizards here that live quite happily you sometimes see them around the fire and on the side of the house and everywhere they're cute little things only about six or seven inches long <clears throat> so I thought it was one of them anyway I put the um, I put the branch I put the branches on the uh, fire, and I looked round, and I saw the tail of a snake going into that hole. Kind of freaked me out a little bit, actually. But, um, I haven't got a good photo of him, but I did come out uh, with the camera and set up my tripod to see if I could film whatever he was doing. But um, snakes don't do much, so um, I'll see if I can add to a picture. So I've got to do a job that I've kind of been dreading out of front.
tractor tyre in my front garden. Why would anyone leave a tractor tyre? What, what were they thinking? I've got a tractor tyre, I'll lay that in the front garden and that'll look really nice. No, it doesn't. It looks terrible. And I've no idea how I'm going to get rid of it. I'm quite pleased with how that's come out. Um, I've moved. Um, I've moved all my seedlings, or snail food, as it's now called. Um, yeah. So I found the culprits of the uh, of the nibbled leaves, and uh, they've moved out. Um, so I just want to quickly have a look here. In there is a Centranthus, which is Red Valerian, and I've got Petunia seeds in there. That's not the way to germinate those, but they, they might do. And the other day I had some potatoes. I had some potatoes left, which um, were sprouting and looked good, uh, and I thought I'd use the big bags that I had left over from the compost um, yeah I think I'm gonna have trouble I'm gonna have trouble growing things in the ground for a while uh, until I've got the until I've got the uh, veggie patch right and I've got some way of protecting it from pigeons and at the moment I'm watering everything with a watering can because I don't have a hose because I don't have an outside tap so I've got a few things to address but um, yeah, just a, a quick catch up with the seeds. Uh, tomatoes, yeah, tomatoes, some of them are waking up. The comfrey, uh, well, not great, really. So, yeah, just sort of thought I'd give you an update with that. A lovely evening. Um, but yeah, actually what I was gonna say is just looking at this bit here, I mean, this is just this is just awful. What have I done? This is just a mess. So, I've got to try and work out what the front of the, or the back of the house rather, what the back of the house should look like. It shouldn't look like this. This looks like one of those old derelict garden centres that you go to that have got one dying daffodil left. So, I need to try and work out what I'll, I'm going to do here. I think I need a dedicated planting area. Uh, whether that should be right up against the house. It is nice to be able to do things just outside the back door. Um, but I think because of the snail situation, no wonder they eat snails in France, they're everywhere. Um, 
Because of the snail situation, I think I'm going to need to keep things on tables or off the ground anyway. So I'm going to have to have a bit of a think. So any ideas will be uh, greatly received. Uh, as always, please like and subscribe. And uh, I'll let you know what I'm up to soon.